guys, welcome to your daily dose of mathematics. Today's question is paper 3, trigonometry. This question came in November 2016, paper 3. Many students have found it really difficult. If you haven't given this a try, please pause the video, give it a try, and then come for the solution. So for those of you who have given it a try, very nice, and let's see what the solution is. So the question requires us to solve this equation by first going into a quadratic equation of sine. So let's see how we can maneuver this. So first of all, let's try simplifying things. And we know secant, uh, secant theta is one over cos theta. So we can write secant theta as one over cos theta. Mine is equal to three cos theta plus tan can be converted to sine theta over cos theta. Now we can take LCM on both sides. Uh, so this will be one over cos theta or you can multiply the entire equation by cos theta uh, would be equal to three cos square theta plus sine theta over cos theta. So this is our first step that we have done. And now we can see that these two denominators can get simplified because they're same on both sides. Now we can get rid of cos square theta by going into the identity. So this cos square theta can be substituted as one minus sine square theta. So I would want to write one is equals to three times. So we will substitute quadratic identity for here. So this cos square theta would become one minus sine square theta. And now we can see that we have come to a quadratic equation in sine. So one is equals to three minus three sine squared theta plus sine squared theta. Uh, I think I've made a mistake over here. I think this is not a sine squared term, rather it is a sine term, yep. So, um, so this is sine term, uh, that is correct. And now we can bring everything to left hand side. So this will become sine squared, three sine squared theta would become positive, minus sine theta and minus two, one minus three will become minus two, would become equal to zero. And now let's try to solve this. I think we can uh, factorize this. Uh, let's give it a try. So this will be three sine squared theta plus uh, minus three sine theta plus two sine theta minus two is equals to zero. And yes, we can factorize this. So this will become three sine theta will become common. So this is sine theta plus one and plus two comes common, uh, it would be minus one. This would be minus one over here. Two will come common, so this will become sine theta minus one is equal to zero. Now we have uh, solved this quadratic. Let's bring this to the next side and try each factor. So first factor is sine theta minus one. So I will say sine theta minus one is equals to zero, or I have a three sine theta plus two. Two is equals to zero. Now I will have sine theta is equals to one over here. And we know that sine is one when angle is 90. And if we have a look at the domain, let me have a quick look at the domain as well. Uh, so 90 is not included over here. and Hence, we cannot take a value for uh, theta over in this uh, inequality. So there are no solutions from there. Because the available solution was 90 and 90 is not included in our domain. Uh, let's draw this one. So this will become sine theta is equal to negative two over three. And now we can go for finding basic angle alpha. That will be sine inverse of two over three. And once we have the basic angle, let me have a quick look at the basic angle. Yep, so basic angle would be 41.8. Now we know that sine is negative. That means 
we have to be in the third or in the fourth quadrant. This is 41.8. This is 41.8. And now we know that because our range is available in negative, we should first go into the negative quadrants and find this angle. So this would be negative 41.8. So the final value of x that I will have is uh, negative 41.8. So this is our final value for theta or x. I think I have made a mistake while writing the domain and that is theta basically. So this is a final answer. So this question was a little tricky for some people because they were struggling to get into a quadratic equation for sine. The rest of it was like really a P1 level question. So there must not have been a lot of issue. So if you guys like this video, please share it with your friends who might have not, might not have seen this question. If you have any queries, any suggestions, any questions that you want us to do in this series, do leave us a comment below in the comment section and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.